I think it's a really great benefit for us here in England to have the influx of horses from Helgstrand Dressage because they truly are quality and, and that's what we want after all. Um, so I'm really privileged to be working alongside them. Tom Good and me will be training and riding the horses in the meantime and um, hope that we will have many more to come through uh, the yard in the future. So we've chosen four horses to start with. Um, what I wanted was horses that have got really technically very good and correct paces. And he certainly possesses all those qualities. He's a six-year-old stallion by Dream Boy out of a Nureyev mother. Uh, established in flying changes, he can already do a few uh, 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 fours. We've already had a few times of him doing three four-time changes. Um, he's a really, really athletic horse with an enormous amount of presence, but most of all also great rideability. Further than that, we have got a six-year-old mare by De Niro, um, also a horse with established flying changes, showing both of them also showing enormous potential for Piaf and Passage. Um, easy to ride. I think for me that was one of the most important things was rideability to make sure that the horses we bring to England have tremendous trainability and rideability. Further than that we have a six-year-old gelding by Bellissimo M. Also established flying changes, lateral work and um, again maybe a little bit of a bigger horse but a very imposing and um, really really athletic horse. Then we have a seven-year-old by Totilas. Um, that is a really special horse, uh, established in all his lateral work, Piaf and Passage and Flying Changes, Tempe's down to twos and a few ones already. Um, I think that is a, a horse really one day for the, for the really big sport. Um, a really, really talented horse, very sensitive, but again, a very rideable horse. So that's what we're starting off with. Um, of course, there's going to be many, many more to come, um, but for the moment, those are the few that we have. Of course, I've known Andreas for years, and um, I've always been impressed by his professionality, his horsemanship, his knowledge, um, and his work ethic, and, and wanting the best. And, and um, you know, we're in it for the sport, so that's what I want too, the best. Um, but I think one of the things that really clenched it for me was his principles, wanting to make sure that every horse is with the right person, making sure that he matches the right horses with the right people, with a really tremendous ethic towards the whole business.